Good morning, my family in Christ. Welcome to another morning devotion. As believers, we are called to the ministry of reconciliation because we know the terror of the Lord. And so we want to be in line with God. But more importantly, we want to be in a position to persuade mankind everywhere to come to Jesus, to be at one with him. Indeed, it is the love of God that will constrain us to do it. And so we need to be sure that we are living for God so that our lives may be a testimony to others who need to know the Lord. And this could only happen if we accept Paul's writing in 2 Corinthians 5, starting at verse 17, and it reads, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ. God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ to be reconciled to God. For our sakes, he made himself to be sin who knew no sin so that we in him might become the righteousness of God. The word of God to the people of God. And so we have a mandate. We have a cause. Let's try today to be at one with God. That will help us to share Christ to the nation, to cause others to come to know him so they too can be reconciled to God. They too can be at peace with God. The world is in turmoil. But Christ is here through us to make a difference. Let's go hard at it today and cause this ministry to be alive, the ministry of reconciliation. God will help us and that right early. Thank you for the call. Thank you for sending us. Thank you for being with us. We praise you as we live out this opportunity today, this mandate, this calling, and cause mankind everywhere to come to you, boy, girl, man, woman, whatever color, whatever race, whatever location, Christ is everywhere. He is the hope of glory. So we commend those who lead the nations today including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament and their families. We pray the will of the Lord be done even now. Thank you for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. Thank you for those of us who need in law enforcement and education, indeed in the medical area. We pray the blessings of God. May your will be done. May your kingdom come. And we as believers, may we take serious this ministry and seek first to be at one with you and cause our light to shine before men that they may see our good works. Glorify the Father which is in heaven and fulfill this ministry of reconciliation. We thank you and praise you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you today, believers. Let's go forth and reconcile others to Christ. Have a great day in the